Hello and welcome back to more Lego Star Wars. My name is Zeppelin G993 and I warn you, this part is going to be very dark, full of death, destruction and debris. Lots of debris, buildings just toppling everywhere, it's terrible. I mean, I feel sorry actually for this guy here, Battle Droid. Actually, I've actually walks quite suave if you do it quite slowly, like... Da -da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. He's actually got a bit of, you know, a bit of charm to him, which is quite impressive for a metallic. What am I saying him for? It's an it. It's one unit. But yeah, once the clones start going mad against Jedi, they're pretty much obsolete, aren't they? They play no function at all. Poor old Trade Federation. This game's <laughs> completely thrown to the side in the story. But what are you going to do? It's now time for Chapter 5 of Episode 3, Ruin of the Jedi. If you think, if you thought things were bad in the last part, just wait to see how things have now turned out for the Jedi. Now that Emperor Palpatine has had his way with things. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. So, Palpatine has issued Order 66, turning the clone army against the Jedi. Across the galaxy, clones have gunned down the Jedi generals. Yoda and Obi-Wan Kenobi have survived and headed for the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. They hope to find some answers to the shocking turn of events within the Jedi archives. It is terrible though, if you think about it, because Jedi are meant to be like these generals, people with power, and seriously, like, only two of them? have the capacity to survive, I mean it is, I know it's meant to, it's very like, oh what's the word, so oh this has to happen, you know, you know, it has to be the way that they will have to die, but it's a bit like, really, these all powerful Jedi, none of them survive apart from those two, I mean you're just 900 years old nearly for god's sake, I mean, surely he, if, if, if he can survive, surely others can too, so here we go, you think, oh these, these are Jedi men, but no, in, dis in disguise, how evil is that? That's so deceitful. Threw them out here. Seriously, like, you know, and Yoda's a pensioner. He's got a little walking stick, for example. I mean, leave him alone. And as for that, um, it's Order 66. I hate to think what the um, the other blooming <laughs> orders were. The other 65 orders before there. I mean, they must have been even worse. And um, so basically, yeah, in this part, it's getting through the Jedi Temple. And when once we were the kings of the school, you know, kings of the castle. We're now the dirty rascals, and uh, we're in trouble basically. Can't walk more than five paces without someone trying to blimmin' take care of us. It's annoying, to say the least. Don't go the doors. <laughs> we don't have to use any force at all. <laughs> Even, but at least the force is still on our side. At least that hasn't rejected us. Oh dear. It is like li literally the whole place is broken. The entire temple is just ravaged by the living clones. At the same time, though, it is like, yeah, that's the thing. That we can we can take care of these guys so easily. We've got, yes, I've got guns, but we've got them in lightsabers. And and you're telling me that no one else, all the other Jedi has died. I mean, it is a bit depressing. I'm not gonna lie. Awesome. They're meant to be. Yeah. What's it? That great Mace Windu coat. Um, we're guards of the peace, not warriors. <laughs> I mean, they're all Jedi generals. They're like, you know, they're leading armies. I'm pretty sure that's not peaceful in the slightest. So, uh, slight um, technicality there, I think. But there you go. Just shows you what happens when you go to be a Jedi General. Everything goes topsy turvy. So, what are we going to do now? Basically, there's so much you can do here as well, that's the thing. We're just going to ignore all this. Because, uh, we want to do a story. Oh, for God's sake! Not one of five paces without being taken care of by. I mean, this, this ball here freaks me out a little bit because it's very sort of Death Star like if, if you know what I mean and it just floats in the air also actually I'll say this as well Yoda's not that good for getting studs I'm not gonna lie he's a bit of a hit and miss he is Yoda I just miss his chair I really miss his chair in we go now then now we can run along here more blimmin <laughs> It doesn't help they have those horrible sort of screams when they die. It's like, oh god, what are we doing? But then they're clones, aren't they? It's not really people. They're sort of. So what? What differentiates these guys between, like, you know, them and stormtroopers? They're pretty much the same. Stormtroopers sort of are clones, aren't they? Just, um, just a different new name for them, isn't it? Really, thinking about it. But I don't know. I don't know. So here we are in this big old room. If we go over here. We start to light up these things. We can make our way up to the Jedi Temple. Oh no, for God's sake! Oh, pickle my niggles. 
I was gonna say pick on my nipples and that might sound a bit wrong. <laughs> well, pick on my nipples and call me Julia. Right, step up here. Can't get in there, so. There we go, get the blue one. Always get the blue one. All about the blues. <laughs> blue is the colour. Obi Wan just does nothing. It's fine, he's like, you know. So I'll keep watch just in case. I think there's only two of them left now. Let me know. Is that is one of the exciting things thinking about um, episode seven? Think about could it be like a new world order of Jedi. I think that's it. It really is a clean slate. Anything can happen in this new series. That's what I love about it. One down. Then comes Yoda. Do the last one, do we? Yeah, man. Come on. Come on. It's already on for some reason. Actually, should it be? I don't know. And there we go. Up come the doors. Fam Damajosi. You can do the others as well if you want to, but you know what? Doesn't matter really because we just want to get the story done. We just want to kill stormtroopers or clones, whatever they are. Not real things. It's, it's weird, I was, I was watching a program with, um, what's it? Written by Charlie Brooker. It was a brilliant black comedy called Black Mirror. Um, and his idea was that they basically they made this sort of subconscious within a human and extracted it, you know. It's, like, it's sort, of, sort of like a clone, and they were sort of trapping this clone in a cell, and and, a, and the clone believed it was that person that it was a clone of, and it was in a way it was sort of barbaric that we were treating it like that. But at the same time, it's not real life, is it? It's a, it's a clone. But then is is that a bit sort of, you know, that's such a harsh way of defining life. Or you're only a clone, so you're not worth as much. You know, it's the meaning of life, really. And that's a weird thing to think, isn't it? Just let, I'll let that ponder in your minds as I finish the level. So there we go. Level completo. Get the studs, get the studs, get the studs. 11,000, not too bad. And now for the shocking truth. Like I bet this is where they keep all the hidden Jeremy Carl footage. Haha. But no! Oh, Annie! Poor little Annie! What's that happened to Annie? <laughs> that is the thing. Like, I really think you should leave out episode one. If you left out episode one, I think it'd be a lot easier to deal with the whole transition from, you know, Padawan to Jedi to evil dark Sith Lord bastard. I think leave out the first one when he's a cute little kid who can't really act to save his life. That would be... <laughs> he just can't act at all, can he, Anakin? Um, yeah, much easier to deal with. Because there's, there's that machete version, isn't there, where you watch episode 4, episode 5, and you watch combined bits, episode 2 and episode 3, and through doing that, you get to still experience the shock that Darth Vader is Aunt Luke's father. Then you get the backstory with all the relevant bits in, like no Jar Jar, no silly midichlorian stuff, all the good stuff, basically. Anyway, in the next part, we're going to be doing the last episode, last chapter, rather, of um, episode 3. See you then! Cheery one, cheery one! Oh, cheery, you lucky devil.